Who else, who, else you, who else you spar, man? Who's this? Your another bro? Come on, the little brother. Oh, all right, cool, cool. Introduce yourself. I'm Jay Kwan. They call me JJ. You fight too? Started. Oh. Yeah, he's starting up. About to get in the golden gloves. They, they, they see always oh, in the golden gloves. That's a good step. That's a good step. Next, um, mar next uh, march. They see you and they're like, they want to do what you're doing. Is that it? Yeah, you know, uh, I'm the one. It all started with me, but now I got all my little brothers and family. You know, uh, folk, seeing as possible to do something in boxing, yeah. something positive. Who was you spar, man? Like other other names and stuff like. That. I'm box everybody. Um, yeah. Sergey Lipinov, Juanes Marosian, uh, Devin Haney. Uh, what, what do you think about Devin Haney? Oh man, hell of a young fighter. Skills, good, good fighter. Some people good say boxer. he's got like, he's a mixture of certain fighters, including Mayweather. Yeah. Um, do you see that in him while sparring him? Do you see some of that in him or? Yeah, his boxing IQ is hot. Yeah. But I mean, he getting there. You know, I spar Floyd and him. Floyd, that motherfucker just. So young though. Yeah, yeah, he's still, yeah, he got ways to go, but yeah, I mean, he, yeah. he's solid. Out of a lot of guys I box, his IQ yeah. of boxing is right there. You know, some of the highest out in box with. But yeah. um, as Marty uh, Nathaniel Gillimore, yeah, I'm boxing everybody really. Like John Molina Jr., How's, Frankie um, Gomez, Floyd, Floyd's power, like his powers, is is it is it underrated? Is it overrated? Or is it, is it his body shots? Um, Something that he it takes a lot out of you, huh? Like yeah, yeah. His, body, his body shot is something that um, a lot of guys don't understand. Yeah. But he breaks you down with those yeah. as the rounds go. And his power, he most definitely got good power too. Yeah. He's a full package. What's, what's, what's the first, how did that first round go? Like when you first sparred him, like how, how did you feel like, he's like, oh shit, I'm about to spar Mayweather. Man, <laughs> when I first boxed him, I thought it was a game. Yeah. I was smiling and shit. <laughs> he, he got me good. <laughs> you know, he got me, I was bleeding. Yeah. You know, I, I, cause you know, I didn't box with everybody and not nobody could you really You were confident, you was yeah, confident. Yeah, I didn't been yeah. with everybody, nobody, like I was really <laughs> like one of the guys that could hold my own with anybody. Yeah, yeah. And I got in with him thinking it was a game. <laughs> I'm a fucking fight. <laughs> so I, I learned. I learned. Yeah. I learned a lot from you. Yeah. What What was like the one thing that you changed after after the first fight? Being patient. Pick it, cause, cause I, I I threw all my punches too early on him. He got me tired. <laughs> he tricked me, making me think I'm doing something. <laughs> like putting himself in position to hit. Yeah. And I was throwing a hundred punches. Yeah. And then as soon as I got tired, he said, "Oh, that fatigue kicking in." Yeah. Boom! Hit me in the stomach. <laughs> Walking me down, and that was just a survival, survival, survival mode, yeah. mode. You know, trying to not get knocked out. Yeah. So, how did you see yourself progress though from that sparring to like the like the McGregor sparring year? Had a couple of more fights. Yeah. How, how did you progress? Oh, I, yeah, I most definitely uh, improved. You know, Floyd helped me a lot during sparring, during camp, showing me little things, telling me some advice, giving me advice. So it most definitely uh, took my game to the next level. Top. To box guys, to what, what do you think is the one thing that people don't get about Floyd? Like the one thing that people misunderstand or they don't they don't take it the right way, they misinterpret it. I mean, I feel like a lot of people think, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people are really a lot of people are jealous of him. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't understand that, man, what he did and what he's continued to do. Mm -hmm. That work ethic with all that money. Like, you know, we in sparring, we get paid. Motherfuckers start thinking, you know, you got like, <laughs> you ain't got no but some bands in the account. Yeah. He got hundreds of millions. Yeah. We in New York, three in the morning, we going to run. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, damn, this motherfucker ain't playing, like, against McGregor. So it show you, like, he's where he at because of his focus and his hard work. Yeah. And he deserved everything he got. Yeah. What do you want to tell the fans about yourself, man, like in the future? What, what, what can they expect from you? What are you trying to do? With man, you? I mean, they can expect, uh, see a lot of growth in my game, a lot of uh, in and out the ring. And um, to see me really uh, hit the super light, lightweight division, you know, yeah. in the next year to really make my, uh, my name known in it yeah. against these fighters. The 140 stack you mentioned, it. Who, who do you like there? Who's like the top name there at 140? I mean, you got uh, Jose Ramirez, and you got Regis Progress, and you got uh, these guys that I'm about to have to fight who I'm focused on. Yeah, Maurice, Maurice Hooker got a title now. Maurice oh, yeah, Hooker. Maurice Hooker yeah. uh, a lot of these guys. Who do you consider the one though? Like the one, the one. Like, is, is there not one? Is there? Is there like? I mean, it's it's, it's, it's between Ramirez and, and Progress. Yeah. It's between them dudes that 
who really the best uh, on paper at 140. Yeah. Mm -hmm. who, do you, who do you think it presents the biggest challenge to you, like just looking uh, at him right now? Like you're I like, think probably Rice because probably. Southpaw. He's a big puncher too, huh? Yeah, but you never sparred him. You never, you never. But you know, one thing about me is like I never been, I I never been hurt mm -hmm. in, in fights or yeah. boxing. Like I have a great chin. Yeah. I'm not really worried about no power. I'm worried about uh, the southpaw look. Yeah. You know the boxing, the boxing IQ. But um, he's a slick fighter too. He he got good boxing ability too. Yeah. That's who that's who we focus on. What's your bro's name? What's Devon Lee? Devon.